Hi guys, I'm Shmi and I'm back in London for another one of these kind of errand days, running about getting some things sorted. Now, I literally said that I was moving to Germany, sort of, for a reason, because I knew I'd be backwards and forwards, so like a yo-yo, going to tons of events in all sorts of different places, and in fact, in the upcoming period, I have so many flights, you wouldn't believe it. It's almost one every second day for the next two months, I think. So I'm going to be going everywhere for loads of different test drives and cool videos. But today in London, I've got a couple of errands to run. I'm going to take the GT8 to Posh Wash to get it cleaned up after we had the day out for cars and coffee. It rained later on in the day. Then I'm going to take the FF out for a drive as well, probably get that cleaned, because I haven't actually driven it now for maybe a month five weeks that sort of length of time and it's good to take cars out for a run and give them a good little spurt to see that they're still running and everything is fine and then I'm going to pop by Centurion as well now the Centurion key wristwear that you've seen on my videos before it's actually been back to be customized so the key for the McLaren we'll catch up with that later on is now a little bit more purple so I'm looking forward to seeing that and sharing that too but first today uh, some more stuff as well but first today we're going to jump into the GTAs take it for a little drive go and get it cleaned up and out and ready uh, to go back into storage I think for a little bit given that I'm not going to be driving it desperately soon so some good mileage on here now but let's just fire it up actually fire it up with the door open always sounds better I do love those swan doors they're so cool so key in and that snap much cleaner GT8 now, just being dried off and having the interior cleaned and also undercover here, the Aventador SV which we have actually seen before. Oh and there's a TVR back there in a really nice spec. That's good. Pearlescent green with a cream beige interior. I like that. I like that a lot. I would be very tempted do a spec like that on my TVR Griffith. The green blue flip, I'm not sure the exact name for it, with that kind of colour. Hmm, that's one to watch. Hmm, nice, didn't even see that there. <laughs> Recognise that wing a mile away. Well, we have one FF here, and oddly, I'm going to be back here with mine quite shortly. So that one will be next up in the wash queue. Always worth a cheeky car park prowl. Nice McLaren Orange 12C Coupe tucked in there. A 911 Targa just came in as well, and that's actually my girlfriend's favorite car, Targa 4 GTS. So maybe one day we have to see one of those in the garage for her to drive. Time will tell, but very distinct with their silver roof section. GT8 done then, let's go get the FF and then come back. The GT8 is tucked into bed then under its cover where it's going to be left to sleep for a while. Just a quick little glimpse under here. Nice, clean and shiny. It's always good if you're going to leave a car to have it cleaned in storage and obviously it's plugged into the trickle charger around the back. But with the AMG GTR coming very shortly and the GT3 coming very shortly after, I'm not entirely sure when the GT8 will actually be driven next. So tucked away for the moment. Now there are some works going on here, but obviously alongside is the FF. Now I haven't driven this for quite a while. The last drive was actually by the Dub Customs guys. I lent it to them for a weekend, so they came down, picked it up, took the keys, and took the car out for a drive, and they brought it back actually in pretty good shape, so I'm not necessarily sure it needs a wash. I might just take it for one because again I want to cover it up and you don't want to have you know, bits of grime getting on the inside of the car cover because that rather makes a mess afterwards. It isn't particularly helpful, but I've unplugged the trickle charger for it, so we will hop in. He says, find the key in my pocket. Here we go. Still my silly wrapped key. Um, unlocked. Step in. This car is coming up to six years old now, guys. Six years. And we're into life just as it should be. So, we uh, will get on the road, go back over towards Posh Wash for the moment, and take it from there. So then, Posh Wash time with the FF, and there's an R8 Spider that wasn't here earlier, which is looking quite nice and bold in the red. 
That will get tucked up in the bay. And I actually also noticed that, you know that orange 12C we saw earlier? Let me zoom in down there. Orange 12C. A little bit further is the nose of a black 12C that I hadn't actually even spotted. Blend it in. Get this cleaned up. Like I said, not that dirty, just a little wash, but it's all running perfectly, which is nice. And meanwhile, that is being done. I'm gonna leave the guys to it, and I'm gonna head on over to the office of Centurion. You pick up the new Centurion key. As I'm walking by, the Dorchester is a land of luxurious cars as ever. Two Mansory Bentegas side by side here. I actually think I like the grey one more than the blue one, which is quite unusual for me. Then down over there, just behind the taxi, and my back as well, when my back was its own thing before they became iterations of the Mercedes models. But if I actually swing out of here as well, and just come around the corner for a moment, we have this very nice Phantom drop head, which I'm gonna come a little bit closer to, which I think is one of the water speed editions in a lovely, lovely color. It's very, very elegant. There's blue touches on the wheels as well. That looks really nice. No way, I found a third. Oh, oh, distraction for a second. GT3 RS just going by. But well, I was just about to say, a third Mansory Bentayga. Three, at once. That's very, very unusual. I mean, Bentaygas are popular, no doubt. And Mansory make a, a popular package, and I mean, let's not forget 911 next to that, although even a new turbocharged Carrera S doesn't stand out too much when you've got something like that right in front of it. With the full carbon fiber over the bonnet, this is all much more beefed up on the standard car. Carbon splitter, Mansouri badge around on the side. This one has the normal Bentley wheels. Flying B on the side. Carbon fiber trim all around. And the lip spoiler. And the uh, spoiler at the top of the wing as well. So, a day of Mansouri Bentegas. How crazy. That's quite a nice 488 as well. The white with the gold wheels, 488 GTB. I always think they're better when they have these side uh, fins, or I'm not quite sure what you call it in carbon fiber. Gives it a better look. Although, it needs to look after the wheels. That's not good, nobody likes to see that. Cool car nonetheless. And then, turbo down there, turbo S, lurking at the end. You join me now then in the Centurion showroom where I'm surrounded by some very nice displays of their keys. And in front of me here, we have the new Centurion key for the Schmimobile. And the first thing you notice, it is painted to match. So it's purple, just like the Orion purple. This is the paint sample of the actual car. So the same color that my McLaren is actually painted. And now the key matches it. And the platinum parts are all now polished. So you have the glossy finish, just like the wheels and the highlights around the car. So this is a Centurion key, now modified and custom specified to match the exact car. But this is the same one that you've seen before. It's the same special edition uh, key that I demonstrated to you in April of this year in Monaco, because it's the Monaco edition, where I received it from Centurion. And I'll show it to you, obviously, with the car when they're reunited, because the car is currently in Germany. But this is really quite nice. And I can show you all the keyless functionality and how that works as a key for the car again very soon. But there we go, the new look Schmimobile Centurion key. That is awesome. The Centurion key 488 as well, second one of the day. Cheeky combo shot with my Centurion key. Obviously that won't control that car, but there is one that does. And then on the other side of the road, we have another GT3 RS. Again, multiple of those out and about as well. And one very nice and clean Ferrari to head back to the storage as well. Although it is a bit weird that I've driven two of my cars today and neither of them are the one that this controls. However, we'll jump in here, head over to the storage, and go park this up next to the GT8 again. Now that it's nice and clean and had a little bit of a drive, just had it driving, got the uh, engine and oils and things circulating and all that jazz. Anyway, jump in. The trickle charger is in, but the cover is not so pretty. Now, if you've been following for a while, you've seen me do this before, but that's actually the cover from my old McLaren 12C, which obviously has a slightly shorter bonnet, given that the engine is behind than the FF does, so the door mirrors don't line up at all, but I never bought an FF cover, and it does the job of covering up the top surface from dust 
and the like. But those two are all packed away, parked up and done. So I'm going to grab my stuff, which is currently on the wing of the GT8, because that's what wings are for, right? Just storing your stuff. And uh, I'll take that home because there's one more thing at home that I want to show you. And the last thing today is to take a little look here in the model car cabinet. And I posted a picture the other day of these models and quite a few of you were asking me about them. So I want to just run over that really quickly. And well, there are actually quite a few questions in general about this little collection. So I want to explain it if you didn't already know. And basically these are all 118 scale models of the cars I have owned or had on the Shmi 150 fleet in the order that I had them where the models are available and lots of people have said where do you get these from well actually there are loads of different companies that make them so it comes down to picking a particular car and searching on Google or eBay or Amazon and seeing if you can find it and just keeping track of what's available and then sometimes you get really lucky like the GT4 and the models released in the exact specification of my car other times they go off for complete custom one-off making done privately rather than through a corporate company or of any sorts but 3d printed wheels like on this ff model painted to match exterior and interior same on the vanquish complete custom one-offs which are really quite cool but the new ones in here so we're missing the vantage roadster but that's inbound very very soon there's no vantage roadster model so that's actually had to be completely made and 3d printed which is going to be pretty neat when it arrives i think the 12c is new since my last video but the Shmi Blue Wrap wearing 87TB. If you're wondering why I've got small ones, it's because at this moment in time, you can't buy a 118 of the Morgan Three Wheeler or the 650S Spider. So yes, you can get a coupe, yes, you can get different scales, yes, you can pre-order it, but there isn't one available to have now. So I have the little models until that arrives. Now I've put an M4 in here, and this is a competition pack rather than mine, or the one I had, which was a standard M4. But it's quite fun to have the cars that I actually ran as fleet cars, because I did a good few thousand miles, I think 5,000 miles maybe in the M4 that I had from BMW as a long-term tester. So that almost deserved a spot there. And likewise, I'm going to have a spot for an X6. I need to buy an X6. I had an M550D. You can get an X6M model, but not quite the same. We'll see. Maybe I'll get one because it's the closest thing. Then... Those three that formed the blue crew are all perfectly matched. There were 25 of these from Special Operations Models. Um, they were, in theory, going to do the Spider, but I don't think that's happening, which is why at the moment I just have my Orion Purple paint mold from MSO. I'm going to get uh, one of the current models you can buy for the LT Spider and have it made custom. And then the other new one is the Abt RS6, which I was amazed you could get as a model the 120 year one of 12 RS6 performance. So that was super cool, you could get that as a model, that's just come out. And then a couple of gaps, so the LT Spider I'll get in due course. GT8, haven't got a clue because it doesn't really exist. And then gaps for the future, and then a ton of vinyl wrap paint samples just to think about what colors I might have future cars in. And down there, we have a GT. Even though I know it hasn't appeared in the garage yet, I have the model in advance because I'm a nerd and excited about it. So we'll have an AMG GTR here, then we'll have a GT3, then we'll probably have another Focus RS, then we'll have... Who knows? Watch this space. Maybe it's the TBR, maybe it's the Ford GT, maybe it's something else. We will see in due course. I'm excited. Please excuse me for waffling on. I know I have a tendency to do that when it comes to the model car collection, but I think it's pretty cool going from my first car, the Renault Clio, all the way through to the latest cars in the collection. But like I said, today was very much an errand day, taking the cars to the posh wash to get them cleaned and then put them away in storage. I also had to go to a unit that I have to shuffle around some tires, stop by Centurion, of course, to pick up the Centurion key that I'm very much looking forward to testing out when I get back to Germany and seeing what that's like alongside the real car, the car that it controls, which is a kind of strange concept really, isn't it? But I've shown it before and I will show it again for sure. But basically just getting stuff done, you know, London style, and it's now pouring with rain actually outside, so I'm glad I got everything done before that started. But I'm gonna wrap this one up for there. Thank you very much as always for watching guys. Make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I'll catch up with you with plenty more very soon. Cheers.